So it's been about 6 months since the Samsung Galaxy S20 has been released, which is extremely crazy, it does not feel that long. It technically was announced in February, but we'll go ahead and talk about it now, That's you know, it's been about 6 months. Now what's crazy about this device is basically every single Samsung phone after like a month of its release, it already starts depreciating by quite a bit of amount and once this thing came out, literally like a month later I was seeing these things being sold for like 800 something dollars on Amazon and right now you can actually pick them up 6 months later on Amazon for less than $700 which is a crazy amount less than what it was originally going for. You know this thing is a thousand dollar phone and it's pretty crazy that you're getting it for way less than that so if you want to pick it up links will be down in the description you can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time but that is definitely one of its craziest aspects for sure now the best thing about this phone is that the specs and everything and just the power that it holds has still been holding up perfectly well we've seen sometimes when a phone comes out you know like literally like a, even a month or two after it already kind of feels outdated especially compared to the competition but a phone like the samsung galaxy s20 does not feel like that this isn't even like the s20 plus or the s20 ultra this is the big Base model Galaxy S20 and I've been using it a ton. I was pretty surprised by how much I've been using it. Anytime I make any Android video for like the second channel, I literally almost always use the S20. It's a great phone, has great performance. There are some cons for it, but there's also a lot of pros as well. And these last six months I've been owning it, like I think this is my most used Android device I've been using for the last couple of months for sure. Now the panel, everything has been holding up extremely well. And when I talked about, you know, when I compared to a lot of the other phones and, you know, maybe it feeling, you know, not as, you know, good as the newer ones that just came out, not the case at all, especially when it comes down to the panel. This thing has that 6.2 inch dynamic AMOLED display and it's a big asset for sure. Maybe, you know, a lot of people would say, would be the way it looks, you know, with that hole punch display in the center. I like it. I think that definitely adds to the flavor of the phone, but it is that 120 hertz refresh rate that adds so much more fluidity into the display, which is something I really do like. It makes the phone feel that much better. It makes the phone feel that much more premium. And this is the way of the future. You can still turn it down to, you know, 60 hertz if you want to, but when I go and compare it to a lot of the other phones in the market and I just dropped a video yesterday comparing 60 hertz, 90 hertz and 120 hertz. I used the S20 for the 120 hertz option and you can see that, and I saw that it was a really really big difference between the two and I can definitely tell you when it comes down to the display it is one of its biggest highlights for sure and when I look back into my you know ownership of this phone within the last six months it's definitely been the display it's been one of its highlights for sure and I really really do like that about this phone the way it feels and everything has still held up as well it doesn't feel bad and what's even cooler is the camera setup on the back still a great camera setup triple camera setup as well and I'll go into a little bit more detail in a second but in terms of the outside I love it it's still held up completely fine software wise this is actually really fun because we actually did get a software update one UI 2.5 one UI 3 should be coming out whenever probably like six months from now but this phone did end up getting the one UI 2.5 update which is really cool and this is definitely one of my favorite point five updates that Samsung's released for one UI I don't know if they released one UI 1.5 maybe they did but this update brought a lot of cool different features and this update just came out like less than a month ago I think and it brought a ton of cool things we have now more capability and it actually added a lot more capability for the camera as well, which is really cool, which I'll get into more, I guess, in the camera section. But this thing is still getting software updates. It's funny because almost every single time I open up my Galaxy S20, I always have like some random update. Maybe it's like a security update or something. But there's almost always some update that I have to go and, you know, jump my phone to. And I like it. I mean, it's kind of annoying because it's like I don't want to see it every single time. But it's also cool because, you know, they're taking care of the phone. And another huge thing software wise that we've seen since this phone's release is that this phone is actually going to be getting an extra year of software updates as well, which is really, really cool. We heard about that in the Galaxy Note 20 keynote, and, and that is definitely a really, really cool feature. You know, that is one of its biggest, you know, changes that we've seen in the whole entire lineup of Samsung for a long time. I think ever since they, you know, introduced the E lineup and then they took it away, this is definitely one of my favorite things about it. 
it. And it's funny because software is usually the worst aspect of these phones, but it does have, you know, a little bit of more work to be done. I wish it was more stock, but the fact we're getting an extra year of software update and we just got that one UI 2.5 update is definitely a really cool thing about this phone for sure. So software wise, the last six months, it's only gotten better in my opinion. Performance wise too, like I, I compared this phone to the Galaxy Note 20s that just came out. I compared it to a lot of other phones that came out as well after this device and it still holds up extremely well. I mean, it's, it's the, it's one of the fastest phones I've used. It's one of the smoothest phones I've used. And the fact of the matter is, is that with that 120 hertz tied in with that top tier, you know, performance chips that it has inside of it, just means that it is a good performing machine. Still with the last six months, anything I've done with it was perfectly fine. I don't know what else to say. Like it's a great performing device. Yeah, maybe it's not as good as maybe like the Note 20 Ultra or something like that, or maybe even the S20 Ultra, but it's still a great performing device. It can handle top tier graphics at the same time. It can handle really anything you throw at it. And like I said before, if it didn't have the 120 hertz, I would maybe give the, you know, impression that maybe it wasn't as smooth or something, which is crazy to say because a lot of the games don't even play at 120 hertz. But it's just the ability that it just, when I swipe out of it, it like smoothly goes into the home screen and it smoothly transitions from one thing to the other. That really adds a lot of value overall. And the last six months, that's one thing that I was able to see immediately. And it's definitely one of my favorite features about this phone for sure. So when it comes down to the performance, the performance has been great. I haven't had any problems with it. So in terms of that, that really pretty much covers it. Now hitting on the cameras, like I said before, definitely one of its biggest assets. You have a 12 megapixel wide, 64 megapixel telephoto, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And like I said, the ability of shooting 8K videos is one of its biggest assets. It's the 120 hertz and the 8K because a lot of the phones coming out do not have that capability which is you know pretty crazy a lot of people I'm sure won't even use 8k but it's just the ability of having that capability is what's really really important about it now on top of that with that one UI 2.5 update we did get a couple of more features in the video capability which is a huge thing so when you take videos on this thing now in pro mode you can actually go ahead and change up a lot of different things within it, which is, like I said, another huge asset. It's not an end all be all though. It's not like, you know, if you're getting the S20, you have to immediately go to One UI 2.5, but it's definitely one of my favorite things about this phone. And I think if you're in the market and you need one of the best phones out, the S20 is definitely the way to go. I even compared the sensor to like a lot of the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultras and stuff. And I think this one still does. I think that they're almost exactly the same on all of them, to be honest. I could be wrong. Maybe the Note 20 Ultra is a little bit better. But the S20, I think, held up extremely well when it came down to the entire phone itself, especially when it came down to the camera. So in terms of the camera sensor, that pretty much covers it up. And battery life has been extremely good as well. You know, it has, it still has that 4,000 million power battery. It hasn't degraded at all yet which I'm really happy about. It probably has, but maybe my numbers are wrong. Now, the big thing to keep in mind about this is that on my second channel, like I stated before, I take a ton of different videos for all my videos that I do on that, and a lot of them are on Android devices. Now, I don't take the video on Android devices, but I make videos about these Android phones, and most of the time, I let the phones charge up, like I charge them to 100%, and I just let them sit idle, you know, I'll make a video one time, and then like a week later, I'll make another one, and almost always, this phone holds its charge for like a long time on end, which is crazy, you know? I'll charge up like a lot of my other phones, and they'll probably end up dying, but with my S20, I can charge it, I can keep it to the side, and I can use it again later on. And that's one of my favorite things about it. Like on my S20 right now, I'm at 63% and I charged it like a couple of days ago. And the fact that it still has a charge and it's at 63% is pretty cool. I've been using it. I've been making videos about it and everything. And I think the battery life has been extremely good as well. So I think to kind of sum up this video, you know, this phone has held up extremely well the last six months. I think it's probably one of its best valued phones right now i mean there's not too many i would pick up this thing over a note 20 if i'm being honest like it's a great performing phone there's really nothing wrong with it the last six months have been great i think there haven't really been too many cons like i stated and i think if you're going to get this phone out i highly recommend getting it in the used market but i still think it's a great performing phone it's held up extremely well and i would highly recommend it for sure so that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.